I've said it before, I'll say it again. Everything that we face today, somehow, one way or another, involves China. And we've talked about how it impacts our economy, we've talked about how it impacts our health. You know, one area that it especially impacts is our nation's security. And one of the real recent threats, just a revelation of the threat, happened uh, earlier this year when the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Milley, uh, was in conversation with his Chinese counterpart. Good news, we have uh, Frank Gaffney, national security expert, good friend of the Economic War Room, and Gordon Chang, uh, China expert, Ash, actually also a national security expert. And we're gonna talk about where we stand vis-a-vis -vis China. Milley said, hey, you know, we're, we're not as crazy as we appear, we're not gonna start a war. But what did the Chinese perceive, and was that legitimate? Let's turn first to Frank. I think they probably were flummoxed by what he seemed to have said. Now, again, we're going on the basis at this moment, at least, of a report of what he supposedly said by people who are not entirely trustworthy, Bob Woodward and Bob Costa. But let's say for the purposes of discussion that something approximately There does seem to be some validations said, that have come out. There's not been a denial. Right. As of the time we're having this conversation, there's not been a direct denial. And indeed, the spokesperson for General Milley has acknowledged that he did have conversations and they were trying to prevent misunderstanding and uh, you know repercussions that would be untoward. The point is, what he specifically is alleged to have said, I think would have mystified the Chinese because it, it is inconceivable that any military person, worth his salt at least, would say, if we're going to attack you, I'm going to call you in advance and let you know we're going to do it. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, I mean, it's professionally malfeasant, for one thing. Right. It assures that you will have your personnel murdered going into whatever attack is on, to say nothing of the preemption that almost certainly would be invited by it against the homeland of the United States. So I think the Chinese would be mystified by it, uh, probably not credit it, but I know Gordon's got a theory about what else might have prompted, uh, been prompted by it. Well, let's hear it, Gordon. What, what do you think? Two things. First of all, um, the Chinese believe we're in political disarray anyway. This would have confirmed it. This means that the Chinese would have been emboldened because they think that the U.S. is not in a position to respond to a Chinese initiative, whether we're talking Taiwan, Japan, India, whatever. So I think it made the world more dangerous because it gives the Chinese an incentive now um, to actually act more belligerently. Also, remember that General Milley said, uh, you know, we're not going to attack you. And so the Chinese must have been thinking, well, why would he say that? Um, and so this whole issue, you know, as we've learned from Woodward's book, that um, Milley believed that the Chinese believed that Trump was going to attack them. Well, there are no objective indications that's the case. There are no unusual movement of Chinese forces. There are no unusual civilian preparations. And there was nothing in the propaganda. This means that uh, when you're General Lee thinking on the other end of the phone call, you're saying, well, if they think that, there must be a spy in Beijing or in the People's Liberation Army or whatever. I'm sure right now they're on an intensified spy hunt. So that's the second implication of this. Well, my concern is, is that we should be on an intensified spy hunt just because the influence operation is so sufficient to get to the chairman that he would care more what the Chinese think than what the president thinks. Well, <laughs> he was actually so contemptuous of what the president thought as to be insubordinate and I think acting in const unconstitutionally as well. 